So we have many incidents throughout history of just things that, that, don't, that don't make sense. Of islands beneath the ocean moving. Of ships seeing great cigar-shaped phenomena rise out of the water giving a hissing sound. And yet the water didn't steam and then fly off. Such as happened in 1901 or 1902, one of them, I can't remember. Uh, if we can't account for the mass disappearances of huge vessels like the USS Bannockburn in the Great Lakes, two ships had their eyes on it, strange lights in the skies, ship vanishes. There was it, A ship couldn't even sink that fast. All men on board and everybody, nobody's ever been seen again. Millions of bushels of cereals were on their way to Europe. They never made it. Whole ship vanished. Great Lakes have been combed many times, and many of the ships that have disappeared in the Great Lakes have never been found in the Great Lakes. And there's nowhere in the Great Lakes that's deep enough to hide these ships. No one wants to talk about it. Great Lakes, Great Lakes are just as bad as the Bermuda Triangle and the Devil's and the Devil Sea off the coast of China. The zone of silence in, 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 in Mexico. We have areas in our world where phenomena occur that are inexplicable. These vanishings have really happened. The U.S. military was involved, the U.S. Navy was involved, and the Marines were involved in many of these disappearances. I'm not talking about they caused it. I'm talking about we have military records that have been made public now of military vessels totally lost at sea after anomalous activity, unable to physically see planes that were right there, but they were communicating to them on radio. But the planes themselves radioed in that they couldn't, they don't know where land is, we're over ocean, and the ocean changed colors and looks very strange, and then nothing's ever heard from them again. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, it never hit the water, it never landed. There's more evidence that that plane went straight up than anywhere else. There's too many anomalies that do, do not comport with our worldview. And yet, those who scoff at me for believing that we live within a holographic construct, when they come into contact with all these other anomalies, they edit them out instantly. Oh, man, you know, that probably this is what happened. This is what happened. Well, this is what happened. Well, it's really easy when you live a lifestyle where you're making money to support a family, you're going to church, you have hobbies, uh, who, who, whatever you're doing in life. If this is your lifestyle, and you're never really studying ancient records, studying history, doing, looking into these anomalies, then it's easy to edit them out. But I can't, because I've spent my life doing this. And now that I am, I am cogently aware that there are so many inexplicable, fantastic anomalies, they must comport to my worldview, or my worldview is wrong. I'm a simulationist because in simulation theory, I know that anything can be can enter and exit a computer program program if the overseers will it. Whoever is in charge of the simulacrum can can edit in and edit out everything. And there are no mysteries. It's all coding. I am coding. And I know that until I physically die and this avatar ceases, I know that I am jacked into this this simulacrum. Because this beautiful biogram software, it's connected to me through the central nervous system and I can't escape it because they made my life dependent upon the central nervous system. So every time that I have to power down so it can, re so it can upload more data, holographic data, palindromic data, like our DNA, every time it made sure that the whole, every time that stellosphere moves one rotation, I gotta get some rest. I gotta sleep. And unusual things happen to me. Debilitating things happen to me. Things that begin to affect my health if I try to refuse myself some sleep. But one thing that I cannot do, I cannot not sleep. I'm gonna have to, I'm, I will pass out eventually. And when I do, the central nervous system is gonna upload all the data it needs to reinforce the reality tunnels that I've already found myself in prison.